Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got a very special play for you today. This is probably one of the best passing plays in the entire game that I'm going to show you. Uh, and I guarantee you nobody knows about it. Nobody's ever seen this play. Uh, it's out of the Steelers playbook. If you guys don't know, when I put out my top five offensive playbooks in the beginning of the year, I had the Steelers in them. I just recently dropped a uh, Steelers ebook a couple days ago, which is why I'm doing this video on the Steelers offense. Uh, because ultimately, I think this is one of the best passing playbooks in the game. Some of the most unique passing concepts when it comes to some of the formations they got. I mean, not a lot of people really mess with uh, the stack Y flex uh, formations, the empty tray stack, stuff like that. Really unique passing concepts that I put out from these formations. And I think I put out a video already in the beginning of the year out of some of these formations. I'll try to put a link in the description if I can find them. But today, I'm going to be out of the gun trio. And uh, there's I could probably do a whole scheme out of this, but I'm really going to focus on one particular play because this is a one play scheme this Steeler dig play at the top here can home run just about every single defense in the game and I'm going to show you guys how to do that so cover two is probably one of the easiest ones as far as this play is concerned all you really have to do uh, like I said you have to read the defense a little bit it's not too hard to read a defense typically when you have two high safeties the the DBs are five yards off the line of scrimmage that's a cover two uh, you can see the B route here is completely uncovered so all I'm really going to do all you really have to do is streak the X route that's just to pull that safety on the uh, on Claypool side out a little bit that's all that's really about um, against the computer I'm gonna want to do something like a slant or you know just something to uh, to occupy the uh, the user middle linebacker but in a game that's typically gonna be somebody <laughs> that's gonna be a, a person so you don't really have to do that but for this scenario you know just putting something in that area just so that linebacker doesn't drop back if, if there's nothing there a computer linebacker is gonna drop back so it's best to just occupy that guy but nothing else is really relevant I don't really have to do anything else I find the a route is really gonna come in handy when pulling the safeties apart even more so that's something I definitely won't, don't want to get rid of but against cover too this is pretty much going to be the look and this is going to be one of the easier uh, home runs right up the middle there you can see that linebacker he just hesitates a little bit and Chase Claypool he's going to go off just like he did against the Eagles he's going to have four or five touchdowns in this game so I'll run it one time just like this I mean let's say that I yeah uh, you know, I'll just put the, the B route on the streak and watch what happens. That linebacker, he'll just do a straight drop and you can see he's right in the way of the ball. So like I said, you just need against a user or against the computer, you need something in the way there. So we'll just do it one more time just to show you guys consistency. It's not really like it's <laughs> like it's really hard to say, but you can see, I mean, it's a really quick home run just as long as you, uh, I probably should have waited a little bit longer, but it's a very easy one play touchdown against cover two. Against cover three, the only things you really have to do in this play is put the B route on a streak and uh, block the running back. That's probably like the best things. I mean, you don't have to really block the running back either, but you obviously want the time. In cover threes, it takes just a little bit longer to get that guy across the field, uh, the Y route. So ultimately, uh, that's going to be the best way to do it. To get him across the field a little bit quicker, if you smart route him, especially if you're at like eight yards, like this is a, they're, they're, the practice mode is based off of like first and 10. So he'll smart route and he'll angle, he'll break at about 10 yards. So if it's like, you know, second and eight or something, uh, he'll break even faster and that'll help to get across the, the defense a lot faster so that's pretty much the only thing you can do if it's like a third and five or something like that you probably don't want to do that so like I said all you really have to do put the B around the streak block the running back and then I'm just gonna wait for him to cross the field I mean that's obviously uh, probably the hardest part but you can see it there I had to throw a little bit early you can see the spacing there I have to run again because I had to throw up a little bit more than I wanted to so we're gonna do that one more time like I said streaking the B routes and most important part blocking the running back so you have a little bit of time uh, those are the most important things and you're gonna see how you know this play right here it's a really easy one play touchdown uh, as you can see we get uh, right past that cover three defense real easy now the real challenge is cover four I know what you're thinking how can you use this to beat cover four uh, cover four drop show two doesn't have a ton of uh, I mean I'm in a cover four out of a dollar because that's what the Chiefs have but cover four doesn't have a ton of plays against it. I know a lot of people tell me that they struggle against cover four. So this is going to make you happy because this beats cover four as well. So we're just going to motion across the X route now. Once again, if you can read cover four, if your opponent's running cover four all game, motion him across, put him on a, uh, on a smoke. That's all you really have to do. Put him on a smoke. Then I'm going to block my running back once again, just give myself extra time. 
the last part is putting the b route on an in route and then smart routing him and that's all you have to do now once again I, I like to put the a route on a smart route sometimes but that doesn't really matter same thing with the y route doesn't really matter that we're going to run it just like this and you're going to see once again how this guy just splits the defense and we're getting right over the top for another touchdown and that was actually tighter coverage than what i'm used to so i'm gonna run it again let's go and let's run that one more time this is one of the uh as far as setups go this is probably one of the uh the, the bigger setups as far as like what you have to do but i mean if somebody's running a lot of cover fours we all need cover four beaters in our life so like i said this guy washington here i don't even really have to put him on a smoke route i could motion snap and make him a blocker that's not something that he's he's not really doing anything other than pulling guys away and then like i said right here now that's a little bit more separation i'm not really getting the throw i don't know if Roethlisberger doesn't quite have the arm but you can see the separations there he, he really could be getting it out further but bottom line is it's an easy one play touchdown against a dollar cover four drop show too it also has a very effective play against cover four quarters cover four match cover four palms they have a lot of different names uh, but if you motion across this b route here and put him on a comeback that's really all you have to do and you're basically going to uh turn these um, you know, basically turn these four quarters into man coverages. I like to put the A route in a comeback as well. If I know I'm targeting that Y route, it's going to be more successful uh, if I do a lot of man, if I do that uh, that look. And then you can see this guy here basically just gets over the top. Now, once again, he's not quite getting the separation that I'm expecting. Uh, we'll do that one more time. Uh, but you can see if you watch, I mean, he just gets right past him. So, like I said, putting these guys on comebacks, I mean, you can even put them on smokes. It doesn't really matter. They all identify as man coverages and drop, and that's basically uh, the most important part so like i said lobbing that up sprinting out there to get the ball threw it a little bit far ben couldn't get it done but you can see he gets behind the defense is the bottom line do it one more time just to complete this get a little bit of separation i wish i had like a tyree kill or something like that but that'd be just completely cheating uh chase claypool is the fastest guy he's a 92 speed um, and you can see, I mean, he's definitely getting the job done uh, as we're going to be scoring. Like I said, not quite getting the separation, but we're definitely getting past, and that's the only thing that matters. We're getting these 50-yard touchdowns. So against man coverages and, like, man all-out blitzes, I mean, obviously the running back and the tight end aren't really important. So I can do whatever I want with them. Blocking them makes the most sense. I would say slanting or dragging the B route for a good check down. I mean, these are all man beaters, the comeback route, all of them. So I basically just want to buy some time for this Y route to get uh, get across the field here. And you can see, I mean, that's going to be an easy play too. So, I mean, this is something against man zero, very obvious. Against man, same set as cover three. Streak the B route, block the running back. That's pretty much it. Um, and you're just going to wait for the Y route to cross the field once again. I mean, you're pretty much figuring this out on its own. Next up, we have the PA deep cross. This play right here, all you're going to do is streak the A route and put the Y route in a drag. It doesn't really matter if it's man or zone. Uh, the B route's going to have a lot of success. The Y route's typically going to be open too. So you really have your choice. You're really just watching those two routes. Like I said, man or zone, they're both successful. Uh, one's a little bit more consistent as far as uh, a check down, which is the drag. But you can really hit you know large chunk plays out of this every time. Next up, we have the tight end in. This is another really good cover two play. All you have to do is streak the X route. Typically, the um, the receivers get bumped, uh, but the Y route, for whatever reason, does not. So they never lose their acceleration. And the way that he basically just runs his route straight down the middle, all you got to do is pass lead inside a little bit, and you got an easy one-play touchdown. We'll go to the replay real quick. Um, all you really have to do, like I said, streak that outside route. If you watch, these streaks typically get jammed. On both sides, you'll see that if I had a receiver on the other side. But they get jammed. They get pushed around. They lose their acceleration. The point is to push them in towards the safety. This guy here, though, this route, this particular route, which is very rare, is not programmed to do that. So he basically just runs right by him. And then, like I say, you're just basically, I mean, based off of the streak, you can see that this guy here has turned the other direction. So at that point, I'm just pass leading inside and running to the ball. And we're getting a really easy play. If you really want to split these safeties apart, which I typically would do, you can motion out your running back or you know, do something like that. We'll do that real quick. Uh, this route here, the B route's really not doing anything, so I can motion him across, put him on a streak just to get that look. Uh, block the running back once again because he's not really doing anything, but ultimately just to get that look where those safeties are pulled apart a little bit better. But you can see it doesn't really matter, but it's really helpful to spread the defense, obviously, and this thing's just pitch and catch. So I'm going to end the video there. We home run every defense except cover two man. That's one of the reasons I run cover two man so much in my gameplays. Uh, but if you want to see more from this formation or more from this playbook, do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section or the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like e and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.